guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some Ark on the center on our very little modded series. There's only one mod and plus increased rates. Everything else is vanilla. We're even on a vanilla map, center, even though that was originally a modded map. Anyways, if you guys do enjoy these videos or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you have not done so already. So today, today, what we're going to do is uh, something I've been kind of trying to figure out and kind of find, trying to find a good strategy for for a little bit now. And I want us to go ahead and tame a Quetzal. That's right, a Quetzal. And how are we going to do it? By ourselves. Now, Kevin's going to be around and he may help us out a bit with some minor things, but for the most part, this is going to be a strategy that you can use to completely solo tame a Quetzal. Um, now, I know that people have their methods and whatnot, and actually this is a method that was kind of recommended to me from uh, a guy in the comments below. So, Matt... Colton or Matt Dalton, I believe. Oh, sorry if I get your name wrong. Um, but he had a great strategy and I was like, you know what? That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and try that out. So the first step is to actually go tame a Tappy Jara. Now Tappy Jaras can be kind of a pain in the butt, but um, we are gonna go tame one. Kevin's gonna help me find one and we're gonna do this. Um, I think I might actually have Kevin carry me for it if needed. I'm not really sure. Depends how close I can get, if I can bolo one or not. I mean, obviously, tape. oh, I'm starving. Obviously, taming a Tappy Jara solo is absolutely doable, but uh, it might be easier with two people. This is more about taming the Quetzal solo, not so much taming the Tappy Jara solo. So anyways, I'm going to go out, I'm going to try to find a Tappy Jara, and then I'll bring y'all back. Alright guys, I have found a Tappy Jara. It is a high, high level of 35. You, you stay there. Uh, it's the first one that we've seen, so we're going to try it out. Where'd he go? What? Where'd it go? It was right here. Oh, ooh, Trudons everywhere. Oh, ho, 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 go away, Mr. Trudons. I don't like you. Oh, 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 there it is. Hey there, bud. Hey. Oh, how you doing? No, 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 no. Let's go over here. Are those Trudons still chasing? Oh, you're so purty. Got them orange wings. Trudons are not chasing. Oh, see, now it's flying away. They get spooked super easy. Oh no, it's sauce and it's spooked! Damn, it, that sucker's gone! Okay, there he is, but I don't know if he's ever gonna land again. I've been told that once they fly, sometimes they just never come back down. Watch it for a little bit, see if it's gonna land, otherwise we're gonna go and look for one elsewhere. Alright guys, it's actually the next day. This isn't even the same day. And there's a Tappy Jara over here, in the same general area as the one we saw the other day. No, you, what? Come here, you're gonna spook it. I didn't see the level on it yet. But the last one was level 35, so I'm hoping it's better than that. What? Where'd it go? It was literally right here. I'm worried about spooking it. Hey, little tappy jara. Okay, I might have to fly around again and see if I can spot it. Where the heck could it possibly have gone? It was literally right there. Well, I found it. And there it is. And it's a level 125. I don't know if it'll ever land. I think we're gonna have to follow it around for a long time and see what happens. All right, guys, so after that guy flew off into the air, we um, actually gave up on him. And Kevin went ahead and found another one, a little lower level. I think it was uh, level 85 or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and meet up with him. Uh, we might have him carry us and knock it out. I'm not really sure yet. It's over near the swamp. So I'm going to go ahead and get over there and meet up with Kevin, and then I'll bring y'all back. Holy crap, that now thing's quick. Yeah. Oh, got it. Go to sleep. <laughs> got it. And it's down. It's oh, down! It's down. <laughs> Heck yeah! Oh my <laughs> Alright. Ooh, uh, do I have... I do have narcotics. I got mutton. Oh, you have mutton? Yes, here's mutton on the ground. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. And it's up! <laughs> there we go. So what you do is you get on the front seat, like so. And then you take out your gun, like so. That And if you have crosshairs enables, it definitely helps. And then you look at what you want it to follow. Because right now I can't I can't drive it. It's on its own. I'm just chilling on it. Um, but if I hit the attack this target, which if you hold the little wheel, it's on the left there. Or the shortcut on mine is the period. It'll go after it. Now a Quetzal, a wild Quetzal is faster than a Tepijara. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stop. We're good. We're good. You can stop attacking it. Leave it alone. Leave that poor dodo alone. So, what we want to do is find the Quetzal. Oh, I've been robbed! Freaking... No, no, you, you dying. You know what? Come here. 
Oh! Give me my stuff back. 74 arrows, are you kidding me? The other one took freaking berry smoothies. Whatever, screw those guys. So what we wanna do is find the Quetzal, try to go somewhere where we can see it from the ground, because we can't really change seats, I don't think, in midair, and uh, then kind of see what we can do. I have some parachutes on me, so maybe I'll hop off and get on a different seat. I don't know if I could even do that very well. I don't know, but first things first, gotta find the Quetzal. All right, so we see a Quetzal here. It's just level 50, but that'll be great, good enough to test for this. We've got some of the shock darts and we have a gun. Oh, we better, we better whistle it before, because here we go. That does 172% melee. So we're just gonna kind of let this thing attack it. Um, it'll run. Oh, we missed. But, uh, oh yeah, look at that. We can, sh beautiful, look at that. That's one shot. Oh, this is perfect. I thought this thing would way, way outrun us, but this is actually really easy. I'm actually worried it's gonna fall into the water and die. Okay, it's turning. Just keep chasing it, Tapijara. Okay, so with these darts and with this gun, I'm really surprised we're going this fast. This is actually really crazy. So this is definitely the way to solo tame a Quetzal. I'm a little worried that it's gonna fall into the water. So we might just let it keep going. Keep going. Go to the mainland. Okay, let's stop for a minute, stop for a minute, stop for a minute, let it get ahead. And then attack it! Go! Oh, it's, it's actually getting bloody, we need to be careful. No, no, no! No, 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 no! Did we land? Did we land like a fool? We sure did. Okay. We need to turn around. Uh, get back in the front seat. Hurry! Okay, and there it is. There we go. Ooh, Kevin has a suggestion of add weight to slow it down. It's actually really smart. Gotcha! Whistle neutral! Whistle attack this target! I can't turn around! Okay, uh, we're gonna have to do this. Ooh, parachute, parachute, parachute. We're in trouble. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. Let me on. Oh God, all bad things are happening. Come closer. Lowest. Run away! <laughs> okay. We need to get out of the water. We got Pegomastics coming. Come on. Passive. Passive. I got him. Okay, we're on. We're on. Did Kevin make it out alive? He tried to save us. Thanks, Kevin. All right. So, I don't know where the Quetzal went, but we're dying. We need to eat. We need to gather some weight. I think he's right to make this guy slower. All right, we are back and we recovered from that. I added a bunch of stone to my inventory. Uh, so hopefully we can do a little better this time, go slightly slower. Let's get him. Well, we're gonna find out. It's because the problem is I need him to continuously attack because if I get turned around, I can't retarget the sucker. Come on. Can I hit it first? What? Okay, I got it. Okay, now it seems to be outpacing us a little better. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we got this. Okay, now hopefully it's not going too fast. I can always drop a little bit of stone too, but this is definitely the way to do this. Okay, it's chill. It's like, man, those guys can't possibly be chasing me after I ran for 15 seconds. What? I definitely hit it. There we go. What? What? I feel like none of my shots are like hitting. Maybe am I hit, is my own guy's head in the way too much? Cause I could definitely see that being a problem. I don't see a bunch of darts like sticking out from him. Register, ow. My tappy jar is 100% gonna kill this thing. Oh! What? What in the world? Did I knock out my own guy? I didn't know I could do that, even though it was PVE. 
Well, dang it. Whoa. We're going to have to try that again. All right, guys, we have our guy waked up. We are on take three. I feel like we're going to end up killing this guy, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, let's uh, try not to get attacked by everything and go front seat. I got our gun. There it is. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's running. Keep running. Keep running. See, right there, I feel like we should be hitting it. Are we hitting our own guy when we're seeing that? Okay, keep running. Keep running! Oh, it's down! It's down! It's down! Uh, holy crap! Oh, it's there, though. Okay. Oh, our guy's not following. Kevin's here to help. <laughs> He's here to keep an eye on it for me. I don't think I whistled in time. In the impossible spot. That's where it landed. We've built a contraption so we can access the guy. Um, let's see, will he eat this right away? He should. And there he goes, it tames up. <laughs> oh, two pieces of mutton. All right, so. Super low level, only level 74. Where's my, can can you come here please? Let me show you this weird contraption that I built because it is ridiculous. All right, come on. Gotcha. Check this out. <laughs> I flew over and put down some pillars and then just did my best to build it out. We're actually gonna have to destroy that stuff to get that guy out or else he's gonna live there forever. And oh, he's free. <laughs> we'll destroy it anyways for the sake of everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy home. Oh man, that was quite a freaking adventure. And then I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, we are home with our brand new Quetzal. Oh, it's not one of ours, is it? I oh, know, okay. Brand new Quetzal and Tappy Jara. And man, check out how amazing he is. Let's look at, look at his stats, even though he's super low level. And there they are. Okay, so let's take him for a, a quick fly around so you can see how amazingly fast he goes. So this is the regular fly speed. Which, let's be honest, at this would not be a physically impossible speed to fly at. And then here's the sprint. Oh yeah, look at him fly through the air like a maniac. So, they're slow. They're really, really, really slow. Let's actually time it, okay. Let's just time it from here, from my base. We're gonna fly straight. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half. Five and a half units of whatever I just counted. Okay, now I'm gonna time the same thing with me running. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so it's probably about the same run speed, the same speed as I can run, and my movement speed is at 140%. So 140% walk speed, I can sprint the same speed as a Quetzal, and you cannot up their speed, which is the best. Now, he'll still be useful for carrying some dinos, grabbing an Anki or something that I wasn't or, or before able to grab, but, Regardless, whatever, I'm glad we have a Quetzal because Quetzals are still cool, even if they are super slow, terrible. Uh, but for today, guys, that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you learned something, uh, I hope you did because the whole point of this was to teach you how to solo tame a Quetzal, uh, then go ahead and do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you have not done so already and share. Uh, you can also check me out on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, even your Google+, Plus, even though nobody ever uses it. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiX. But like I said, for today, guys, that is going to be it. I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.